Okay, in this video we're going to look at um, Pythagoras' theorem. And Pythagoras' theorem says that in any right angle triangle, and this only works for right angle triangles, for in any right angle triangle, if I have two of the sides, so 8 and 10, I can find exactly the length of the third side. Okay, and Pythagoras was in, he lived in ancient Greece, um, I think it was about two, was it two, maybe 3,000 years ago. And, um, but I'll get to him in a second, okay, because even though the theorem is credited to him, the Egyptians actually knew a little bit about Pythagoras' theorem ever before Pythagoras was born even. The Egyptians were very into triangles because of their building of pyramids. And the Egyptians used measure length. They didn't have um, meter sticks or anything like that. They used measure length in cubits. And what a cubit was, was the distance from the pharaoh's elbow to the tip of his finger. And what the Egyptians realized was that if they had a triangle that was three cubits high, four cubits um, so was long, that the horizontal would be five cubits. So if this was three cubits, this was four cubits, this would always be five cubits, provided that was a right angle. Um, so they knew that. The Babylonians also had a fair idea of it as well. But Pythagoras was the one that really found out, um, I suppose, got this theorem to use, to, that got this um, method of solving any triangle. So the Egyptians only really knew 3, 4, 5. Okay, the Babylonians might have had um, some more information, but Pythagoras came up with a theorem that could find the missing length exactly the missing length of any side on the triangle if we were given two. Right, now Pythagoras himself was kind of an unknown entity, um, but what is known about him is that he had a group of, I suppose, scholars, or they were almost like a cult, they were called the Pythagoreans, and they were strange. They, um, they believed that they could speak to the animals, they um, thought it was evil to eat black beans, um, they were just they were just generally a bit nuts. So yeah, they were like a cult. Um, I think in one at one stage, I think one of a soldier was running after one of the Pythagoreans, and the Pythagorean was running away. And there was a field of beans, and he actually wouldn't run through it because he was thought the beans were evil. So the soldier caught him and, and killed him. Okay, but they were geniuses at maths, and one of the things they did was um, was find out this theorem which we we use today. Yeah, and that's the great thing about any maths proof, really. If something is proven in maths, um, then it, it's never really disproven. Okay, so something was discovered by Pythagoras thousands of years ago. We still use the exact same theorem today. Um, in our log books, it will show Pythagoras' theorem like this. It'll say a squared equals b squared plus c squared. But I like to say h squared equals um, a squared plus O squared, and the H stands for the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is always the longer side or the side opposite the right angle. So, to use Pythagoras' theorem, this is what we do. Okay, this is our steps. First step is we write down the theorem H squared equals A squared plus O squared. All we always write down that theorem. Okay? And then we label our sides. So, we look at our triangle and we see that this is H. Now, in Pythagoras' theorem, the other two sides doesn't matter. So O and A can just be the any of the other two sides. And what we do then is we slot these values into the theorem. So H, we don't know what it is, so we just call it X squared because it's X there. Um, A is 12, so we have 12 squared plus 10 squared. So X squared equals 12 squared is 144 plus squared is 100. So x squared equals 244. However, I don't want to know what x squared is. I want to know what x is. So I will get the square root of x. And that will, sorry, the square root of x squared and that will give me x. If I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other. And I get 15.62. So the length of h 15.62, and that looks about right. Um, 
not always though so so in this question up here we are asked to find the hypotenuse but not always will be asked to find the hypotenuse we might be asked to find um, a different side just like this one right again same um, system a squared equals a squared plus four squared label our sides side opposite the right angle or the longest side is h the other two sides it doesn't matter in this now h squared well, h is 14 a so h is 14 a is 12 squared plus o squared we don't know so we just call it x so 14 squared equals 196 12 squared is 144 plus x squared i want to get x on its own so i have minus 144 from this side i do the same to the other side so it's just basic algebra um, and that is 52 equals x squared but i don't want to know what x squared is i want to know what x is so I would get the square root of x, the square root of x squared, which is x. I'd do the same on this side, the square root of 52, which is 7.2. Okay, so the distance of the length of this is 7.2, which again looks about right. Okay, before we finish this, um, there is a story that goes with Pythagoras' theorem, and um, the story is about murder. So this question resulted in one of the Pythagoreans getting murdered. What happened was, Pythagoras became very famous because of his theorem, and Pythagoras stated that he could find exactly the length of any side of a triangle, right angle triangle, provided he had the other two lengths. And that was fine, he became very famous because of it, and he was hailed as a genius. However, one day, one of his um, students, a guy called De Passes, came upon this question and hey, just like any other question he decided he'd have a go at solving what x is let's do it let's do the question that Passes did thousands of years ago that led to his murder right let's write down our, our formula so again i would say Passes wrote that formula i'd say he labeled his sides h o and a so we're doing exactly what he did and he'll slot the sides into the formula so x squared equals 1 squared plus 1 squared no problem so far x squared equals 1 squared is 1 plus 1 squared is 1 still no problem x squared equals 2 still no problem get the square root of this and we get x get the square root of this and we get the square root of 2 okay yeah, I want to find out what the square root of 2 is. Okay, so, you know, not really any problem so far. Type the square root of 2 into your calculator. And you will get x equals 1.4. Oh no. So now it's x equals 1.41. Oh, it's x equals 1.414. No, not quite. We're not there yet. 2, 1, 3, 5, 6, 2. Now, the number is after stopping there in my calculator, but the only reason it's after stopping there is because my calculator is about five or six centimeters wide. If the calculator was bigger, the number would keep going on. Then the number would keep going on and on and on and on and on forever. Now, remember, Pythagoras said you could find exactly the length of the missing side. But Hippasis came along and he found the length to be 1.4. And then when he did a bit more calculation, he found out it was 1.41. 1.414, 1.4142. He kept getting a number, and he kept going on and on and on and on and on. And he realized there was a problem. He could never get the exact length of this line because the numbers just kept going on. So he went to Pythagoras and he said, Pythagoras, we have a problem with your theorem. Pythagoras was shocked. They told him, he showed him the this question. And Pythagoras said, Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, because if this gets out, then I'll be made a mockery of it. But a passes like to gossip. He went around telling people. So Pythagoras had him brought out on a boat and drowned at sea. However, there was no problem with the theorem. Hippasis was after discovering a very strange number. Hippasis discovered a thing called irrational numbers, which is a number technically that goes on and on forever, or a number 
that cannot be written as a simple fraction, okay, a over b, right? It has to be written in sort form, square root or two square root or something like that, okay? Um, so anyway, just an interesting story to um, to finish up. Okay, thanks, guys.